Let's go. Let's do this. Back again. Back again. Alright. Antonio, the fuck? Oh, I've got the second team on, that's why. And a warm welcome from one of the newer venues here at the Football Mad Capital. Let's start winning games now. London Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's West Ham United versus Wolverhampton Wanderers. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. I think I need to win about four games in a row now if I want to get in top six. And the referee has awarded a corner following that touch. And there's the delivery. And still dangerous. Pablo Fornals. Fornals. Oh, what a goal. The guy is a beast. They keep scoring fucking rockets from outside the box. And underway again, it's West Ham in front. And goal news to bring you from the Emirates. Let's join Alex Scott. It's a goal for Arsenal. They've scored the opener here with six minutes play. Thanks for the update, Alex. Well, he's lost the ball. Well, we're at the business end of the season now, and when you look at the top of the table, still unclear who's going to take the title. One thing you can guarantee, though, is you can watch it all unfold live here on EA TV. Well, you certainly know who pays your wages, Derek, but I think everybody can see this is going to be a great finale to the season. Which team will keep grinding out the results? It's going to be very exciting. Antonio injured now. Can they create something from here? but really sticking to the task defensively. Oh. That's one for them to pursue. Oh, that left-hand side is really bad. Delivering it into the box. Keep getting attacked down it. The left-back ain't as good as I thought it'd be. Vlasic. And Ake don't seem to be doing too well. Pavard. And options in the centre. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Well, a change to the scoreline in the Chelsea game. Let's get the news from Alex. Yeah, it's a goal for Leicester City. The score's level again now at 1-1 with 15 minutes played. What a game of football we have on our hands here today, Derek. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. Disappointing pass. I'm hoping he'll run this injury off. Martinho. Mali prevented it from going over the line. And he saw the situation developing. For Niles. In possession, Bowen. Rice. Suchek. It's with Mikolenko. Well, an easy one to cut out, really. Oh. 
Moutinho. Encouraging move from Wolves. Promising possession, this. And it's gone out of play. Goal kick coming up. I don't think he's going to recover from this. Well, this is the home of live football, EA TV. And we have more action coming up from the Premier League for you. It's West Ham United facing Everton. Well, he likes to run at them. And the flag does go up. Must have been tight. See how old his leg. Bonny. It's with Ruben Nervis. Disappointing control, and they've lost the ball. An alert intervention. Marcel. For Nows. And Pavard on the ball. And the attacking options appear plentiful. Yeah, he's definitely injured, mate. Quick thinking defensively. Yeah, covering that. Ruben Neves. Get to half time, take him off. Well, very close to half time now, and it's a narrow lead for the home side. Stuart, how would you assess what you've seen? Yes, they've defended really well all over the pitch. Their work rate and discipline has been excellent. Oh, any oh wait into... a minute, Stuart. Opportunity. Takes aim. And not quite That's accurate right. enough, Stuart. Oh, fuck it, it's making the change now. Um, uh, good way. What are we going to do? We're going to try this. Actually... Stick Bowen up. Bring Somerville on. Well, I think he should do better there, but at least they're now knocking at the door. <laughs> Substitution time it is. <laughs> Possession lost, intercepted. And they continue to advance, and the keeper taking care of the. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Pavard. Rice. Putting his body on Rice, the line. Rice, baby. Just cutting off the supply. Roman Saiz. The ball with Podens. Marcel. Dense. It's with Moutinho. Well, pass after pass. Maybe they can chisel an opportunity. That's not a bad ball. Now well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. Vitali Mikolenko. Declan Rice. Oh, I I like, why'd you blow the whistle when I'm literally in their box? It's a joke. So the ball is rolling again. Wolves trailing going into the second half. Will they come up with the right response? The well, news coming through that the referee has pointed to the spot in one of the other details. Here's Alex. It was a penalty for Leicester City. It was an awful penalty. He shot it well wide of the post. The score is still 1-0 with 46 minutes played. Alex keeping us right up to date. Pavard. In possession, Bowen. Oh, he's given the ball away. I see it, come on. And they need to get tighter here. Vitali Mikolenko. Rice. Rice with it.
Brilliant piece of defending from Joao Martinho. Make that yours. Well, Make that yours. Fine job That's of applying it. pressure here, not giving their opponents time to think or get out of their own half. Well, the first half performance of real authority from Pablo Fornals. Sum up his contribution for us. But it was certainly a good first 45 minutes for the lad. Obviously, he got his goal to put him in front, but he's looked lively throughout too. Hopefully, we see more of him in the second half. Great challenge. Spot on with that tackle. Lovely ball now for now. Oh, that's a bad ball. Alright, not too bad. It's a goal from Manchester City. It's now 1-0 with 57 oh, minutes going. Cheers, Alex. Smash. Yes. Fuck it, mate. Bowen can start as a striker from now on. More effective than Antonio. Chuck Somerville on that right. And then I've got that um, Gudai, or whatever his name is. Back up. Sub. Thirty minutes left for play. Wolves with the ball once more. I think I need a new, new left back as well. To be fair, Miklienko just ain't. Options in the centre. Very timely interception. Well, Might have to, to be a backup. Premier League action coming up for you here on EA TV. It's Wolverhampton Wanderers facing Aston Villa. That Bowen, mate, he's already here. Playing strike, he's that, that deep. Just cutting off the supply. He's got the pace. That's a well struck pass. Well, the ball lost here. Well done, Vlasic. Well, as you can see, West Ham have had most of the ball and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. Passes like that, very much in his repertoire. Well, can they open up the defence here? And just narrowly wide. Well, it's a good effort from that range, but I think the keeper had it covered. And into the last 20 minutes. And the referee blows for a foul. Well, they have the ball once more. Ruben Neves. Cody. Neto. Chance to cross. Effective challenge. Lanzini, Rice. Oh, what a goal for Dickers, mate. Get him there. 3 0. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Nice. Well, just couldn't keep the ball. And played the pass well. Well, he could really get at the opposition. Terrific block. Save, but still a chance. Well, threat about it. For dance, Wang He Chan. A lot of over play at the moment. A chance to whip it in. Well, on you go, says the referee. Advantage. Really vital interception here.
Well, what can now they do to stop them at them? Well, great read there to intercept. Oh, that's a bad pass. Makes up anyway. Oh, I made sub wires. Somerville, Lanzini, that's it. Let's uh, bring Nobs on. Little appearance for him. To be a throw in. Coming off the pitch, number 28, Thomas Sanchez, to be replaced by number 16, Mark Noble. Wang Hee Chan. You know what? I think FIFA could have added to when Noble comes on for West Ham. The fans should really celebrate. Close down straight away. Any homegrown player that trying to deliver it accurately. Oh, we'll say. I mean, look, Noble's only ever played for one club, so whenever he comes on, he should be getting cheered. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra It's not minutes. hard for EA to add that into the uh, into the okay. game. Fractionally offside. Nice, nice. Total control of this game. And there goes the final whistle. Uh, There's no Let's see how long Antonio's out injured for. Four weeks. Sky report. What we got? What we got? Samuel Watkins. Nah. Adam Burrows. Yeah, we have a look at you. Nah. Not bother looking at you. Get him on another development plan. Alright. Four weeks Antonio's out for. <laughs> How many games does that mean he's going to miss then? Three games, possibly. Maybe four. He might be back before the Villa game, though. Oh, we got a game in hand. Over Arsenal and Leicester. We jumped to 46 points. That takes us in the top 6-7. And then goal difference. We ain't got the best goal difference. We need to win a few games if we want his top six. Everton, this could be a six pointer. <coughs> Marshall's gone up. Hans gone up. Oh, yeah, and there that. Burrows. Oh, he's already got a trait as well. 53. Let's stick him on a striker plan. Or can. 27. Two weeks. I don't want another cam though. I'm going to stick him on a... Stick him as a winger. Stick him as a left winger. Yeah, let's have him as a left winger. Yeah, fuck it. Let's see how he comes out. Is he? 78. Quite liking his whole release though. I'm thinking possibly next season. I don't want Rafinha. 
possibly Phillips, Calvin Phillips, um, Mbolo, Calvin Phillips, and Ezzy. Try and get them in. No, not Ezzy, Olis. Depending if we come top six or not. Come top six, we'll get three or four players in. Alright. Yeah, start. If we don't come top six, phew, I can't see us having the funds to get more than two players in. Big day for the manager. A 15th <coughs> game in charge. Can he celebrate with a victory? Next on EA TV. Right, come and on. a warm welcome from one of the newer venues here in the football right, capital Ray, of England. Fuck off. We're at the London Stadium. My name's Derek Ray. I'm delighted to have alongside me, as usual on these occasions, Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's West Ham United versus Everton. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. And snuffing out the danger. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. Alphonse Ariola begins in goal. Kurt Zuma plays alongside Can't Nathan Ake in central no. defence. And in this Winnie tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. Oh, Derek, can he finish it here? Get him now. Classic, she's on a score sheet. Just what they were hoping to produce. It's exactly what we needed. Well, as you can see, he makes it look easy in the end, but I think that's a good finish. He'll be pleased with that. <coughs> exactly what we needed, boys. And back underway, 1 0 it is. Nikola Milenkovic. On to Van der Beek. Borja Iglesias. Well, they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Go on, Pavard. Well, we spent a bit of time with the manager ahead of kickoff. I think yeah. he was the most surprised to hear that it's his 50th game in charge today, Stuart. Well, in the modern game, that's a lot of matches. But of course, all that matters today is a good result. But overall, I think he's done okay. And he did well to cut it out. Godfrey. Keane. Gray now. Sigurdsson. Decent progress with the ball at his feet. Oh, that's a fine pass. Richarlison. Cross could be useful. Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. Cool. Vlasic. Ake. Oh. What, Why the fuck was Ake that far scared. up? He'll be kicking himself, Stuart. Well, it's a poor effort, but he's been given offside. Centre back. What's he doing up there? Well, the focus on many of the back pages coming into today's game, very much on him playing against his old club, and I wonder what's going through his mind, Stuart. Well, he shouldn't approach this differently to any other game. He's just got to forget the crowd and go out and play. And he read it well. Oh. Over the touchline for a throw-in. Sigurdsson. Oh, Suchek he must cover. Favor the cross. A very Sick effective cover. clearance. Attacking possibilities for West Ham. It's there for him. Get him now. Another great ball from fucking Bowen. Straight into Vlasic. Ah, he's going against his old club. Vlasic used to play for Everton. Long time ago. And they got rid of him. From the bank. 
It will be. <laughs> Borja Iglesias. Well, he's lost the ball. Jared Bowen. Great ball, Bowen. Rice. And it's with Tomas Suchek. And space for the cross. Okay, no, how does he get away with that? And you would expect a booking under the circumstances. Well, the referee has taken note of his name and number. Well, I think he can count himself a bit unlucky there, but it was certainly a foul. Sigurdsson. And breaking at pace with Menace. Oh, that's a card. A chopping challenge, and the referee yeah. has got to have a big think about it. I was expecting that. And the yellow card for that. That's And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. Foiling them effectively. Sigurdsson. And he saw the situation developing. Vitali Mikolenko. The ball back with Everton now. Sigurdsson. Godfrey. Wonderfully weighted pass. That's a great ball. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Jared Bowen. He's given it away. Donny van der Beek. This looks promising from Everton. Showing considerable guile. Now delivering that deep cross. How is he at... Every time that keeper comes a little bit off the line, yeah, you know it's a goal because literally their man always out jumps the guy at the back post. It's a joke. But whenever the keeper ain't come out, the man never out jumps. It's a joke. Such a fucking... You know, every time that the keeper runs out of that little bit, it's a goal automatically that they're going to ready it over the goalkeeper's head. Because your man never wins that ball. It's so scripted into the game. It will be. Now with Iglesias. Coleman. And a significant block following that cross. So the whistle then. We're up the half. I ain't fucking getting a goal back, mate. That's it. It's staying 2-1. And the second half underway. West Ham with the lead. But I tell you what, it's a long way from being settled. Suchek. Declan Rice. Oh, good use of the ball. For Niles. Putting his body on the line. Gray moving it forward. No possibilities in the center. Godfrey and well, the pass not finding its target. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, what a first half he had. I thought he was outstanding. He caused the defenders all sorts of problems with his movement and pace, and he fully deserved his two goals, and I expect more from him in the second half. Well, let's see if something Slide. comes to this. Yes. Well, it's a wild attempt. He needed something better. Offside, however. Well, you're right. He didn't know it was going to be offside, and that was a shocking miss. Suchek. Vlasic. Pablo Fornals. Oh. Well, he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. Oh, Fornals don't get no space to turn and shoot now. Sigurdsson. 
Side. Oh, I ain't offside, I mean. Miles. Onside. It's got to be. Oh, terrific save. Well, you're absolutely right. That's a top class save. Just look how he reacts. That might be worth it making that change, actually. Pavard. It's already carded. I think you may have a bit more pace. Uh, and the Oxford. friendly reminder that we have more action from the Premier League coming up. It's West Ham United facing Brentford. Well, Derek, I'm really looking forward to it. Always a great atmosphere in that stadium, and it should be an entertaining match. Oh, dear. Well, that's not one that's going to Let's linger make that long change, in the memory. Actually. Well, he had a go there. Nothing wrong with that, but he's got that all wrong. Van der Beek. Borja Iglesias. And a good looking ball. And the keeper got there. See, it's all day long, mate. <laughs> Tell you what, mate, it should be. What level? 83. It'd be an 85 by the end of this season, all the saves he keeps making. Played over. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. And they can't quite take advantage in the end. Declan Rice. Well, we always enjoy bringing you live action on EA TV and Premier League action coming up. It's Everton facing Manchester United. Well, not hard to read that pass. Great. Oh, how has he done that? How has he done that? So lucky. Come on, Oxford. And a fine cross. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. For Niles. In possession, Bowen. Attacking possibilities for West Ham. Suchek. And on the ball, Vlasic. Firing it towards goal. Well, it wasn't a taxing save. Coleman. Richarlison. El Ghazi. Oh, he's done him. He's done him. He's done him. did his job. Ake. Reese Oxford. In possession, Bowen. In the right place to cut out the pass. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. Well, it didn't go as a plan in the end. El Ghazi. Well, it looked as though it had a chance of going in. Well, he should oh, make the key it. there, but you sense the goal is coming. For Niles. Vitali Mikorenko. And he takes it away. Just ten minutes to go. Come on, boys, hold on. Alan. And forward they go, chasing the game. Cross could be useful. And caught by the keeper. Well, shortly we'll hear the final whistle. The home side with the lead. Stuart, what have you made of this? Well, it's been a really good contest, you have to say. But overall, I think they've just about deserved to be in the lead here. Can they now just see this game through for what will be an excellent win? Six point of this win. Giving the ball away. Tremendous yes. Ha ha ha, he's mugged him. Mugged him right off. and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line and the finish showed great composure just to lift it over the goalkeeper that's a lovely goal great well they've decided to make a change 
So the ball is moving again. We've been treated to four goals. We won the score. Boris Charlison. Well, if you're wondering about out of time, two minutes it'll be. Jared Bowen. Well, the timing was perfect. Ball one. Could be a chance to break here. Van der Beek. And there Get in the there. Six point a one. West Ham. It should take us up. Up the table a little bit. That's what we needed. What we needed. Ninth. Level on points with Arsenal in eighth. I want to make this top six. Come on. Bless it, she's gone up. Brentford at eighteenth. So they're gonna be up for the fight. Should be a three point area. Gonna sim it. And I hope it is a three pointer. Four and below, but Ollie Watkins. Let's have a scout on Ollie Watkins. Who's this guy? I've never heard of him before. Where's he from? Kian Prince. Is that the guy who. Played for QPR, who passed away, or is that someone else? Probably thinking it's someone else. I don't want to lose, but I can't be bothered to play this this game or Burnley. Really, I'm gonna play Villa and Manu and Chelsea. Eight games left. We're simming it, we're simming it, we're simming it, and we're hoping that we win. Come on. Yes. For now, Suchek. Fuck's sake, Aki's injured now. I hope that ain't for a long. Everyone's getting injured now at the end of the season. How long is he going to be out for? What the... Two weeks. Oh, that ain't too sad. Two weeks. It's... Zoom has gone up again. Nice. Two weeks ain't the worst. So we're without Aki for this game and Villa. Maybe Antonio comes back for the Villa game, but Antonio has not even scored 10 goals in the Prem, I don't think. We've got him coming in next season, but how many goals has he scored? Goals. Total eight. That's a joke. Five in the prim. He's definitely going. Right. We're uh, transfer listing him next season. 
M Rama, we'll get rid of M Rama and Lanzini because we want to generate some cash. Here or not, because I don't think we're going to get too much um, next season. Position change. Got up two, nice. I'm simming Burnley as well. <sighs> just don't lose, just don't lose, just don't lose. Get in there. That was very risky simming now. But that's took us into sixth now. Villa's got game in hand against us. But if we beat them now. That puts us five points in front of them. And then that could possibly put us in top... F if we beat Villa now, our next game's Chelsea. And we beat Chelsea, we could be in the top four. Oh, Fornells is out now for three weeks. Oh, fuck's sake. So in the space of a month, we've had Aki out, Fornells out, and Antonio out. Oh, mate, what is going on? Who's returning from injury? Antonio's back from injury, but he ain't going to be fit. Alright, so now we've got to play with that. Lucky enough, Lanzini can jump straight into that spot. Oxford can jump into Aggie's spot. Oh, Noble's lost another one. Very two important games, and now we've got <coughs> two important games with three injuries. Our cameras on one man. Three goals in three games, a nightmare for opposing defenders. This is EA TV. And hello from the stadium that was the main venue for the 2012 Olympics here in the English capital. We're at the London Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's West Ham United <sighs> up against Aston Villa. Well, Derek, this is a very important game. And methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out, who will affect the game, and who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. This game's going to determine if I get top six. And the next game probably going to determine if I get top five, top four. Chance to do damage. As that offside. offside a tight one. Look at Inia. Might be onto something with that ball. Coutinho, Wendia, opportunity to deliver the cross, fisted clear. Great. 
Good boy, lovely strength. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent, so what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, his recent form speaks for itself. Three goals in the last three games, and he's playing with great confidence at the moment. Every chance he could add to that tally today. Jared Bowen. Oh, come on. Real oh, has he not scored? Come on, well, Suchet. Sit down, Gerard, and shut up. Well, for West Ham United, a very good victory in the last game against Burnley. What do you expect to see this time, Stuart? Well, their victory was certainly deserved because they created the better chance. Well, that's offside then. Performance. Today, though, it's going to be a really competitive game, and I'm not sure I can pick a winner here. Should be compelling. Oh, oh great save. You've got to say. Emiliano Jesus. Martinez, or whatever his name is. Good goalie. Oh, great vision. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. <sighs> Marvellous Nakamba. No. No. Can they cover up? Get it out of there. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Plenty of forward momentum here. But can they produce? Ings. That's, That's it. Lovely. The edge of the opposing attack. Run. Run. Someone has scored in the United game. Let's find out precisely who. I see it. Scott has the news. Yeah, it's a goal for Scott. Oh, what and a save. Throws himself up the ball. So the corner Come on, that's yours, that's yours. No way! Oh, right in the nick of time. Oh, that should have been a goal, mate. How did he save that? West Ham fans know their team are on top at the moment, but they have to make the most of this good spell. Not a great challenge. Free kick. Come on. Jared Bowen. And he did well to cut it out. Get in the box more, come on. Emiliano Buendia. Lost possession. We managed to get these three points with three injuries. Be very Dippen happy. Rice. And Vlasic. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Oh, moving it nicely. And pull get back. in now. Is that Bowen? Oh no, nah. good day, good day, where his name is. Well, let's have another look at this, because he does really well to pick the right pass here, and he makes no mistake with the finish. Stepped up with Antonio injured. And underway again, it's West Ham in front. Just do not throw this lead away. Sanson. Nakamba. No. <sighs> Zuma, how did you not deal with that? Played over. Goalkeeper's ball. It was always going to be Take all that pressure off. Not the best challenge. Free kick. Fucking fouled me keeper. Let's get it up. Two seconds. Where's that noise? Fucking neighbours. And well, they did have the ball, but not anymore. Might be onto something with. What is? Like a banging. Oh, I just know what I can do is I can feed this. Need the cat warm up. Be back in two seconds. Just gonna feed the cat.
right back. Let's go. Literally, his cat. Whenever you don't give him food, he's starving. Whenever you give him food, he don't eat it. That ball. It's fed at the same time every day. Reading of the game to win possession back. Go on. Flash it. Cut it in. Can he put it away? Oh. Not bad, not bad. What's Oscar Cardoso doing there? <laughs> Corner kick played in. Well, he was being closely watched. Goal kick. Have hard, well, that was awful. He couldn't get to the ball first, but he just did enough to put him off there. Chambers. Leon Bailey. Marvellous Nakamba. And unable to pick out a teammate. And that'll be a throw. Kurt Zuma. Zoom, what are you doing there, mate? Ah, oh, they're going to score from this. They're going to score. That was lucky. So almost at half time, and they are making good use of home advantage. Still a bit of work to do, though. Stuart, your thoughts on what you've seen? Well, they've worked hard and played well to be in front here, but they now need to keep their focus as we approach half time. And breaking at pace with Menace. But quick thinking defensively. This is keep the ball. It's with Mikolenko. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. Good tackle. <sighs> Don't push, don't push, stay back, that's it. Don't push. Getting in there to take it away. That's it, whistle. There you go. So the whistle then. We're up the Might be that stage. going in at the in lead. Oh, good always stop stepped up big time. Let's give Zar there's another little run around chance. I wrote him off completely after that first half of the season he had. But oh. the teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Maybe he might prove me wrong in the end. Taking care of business defensively here. Well, let's join Alex because I think there's been a goal at Selhurst Park. It's a goal from Manchester oh, City. Was it the ball? wanted to do as he stepped up to take that free kick because it was executed superbly. The scores Oh my god. He has stepped up and proved me wrong. <laughs> that was a fucking rocket. <laughs> Well, as you can see, this is a that wonderful a strike. He makes the unbelievable finish. strike. He has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. So two nil now. He's not played for so many games, and he's come out with that. He's still going next season, but Jesus. Here's Bailey. Emiliano Buendia. And now Coutinho. An alert intervention. Well, just to point you in the right direction, we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA TV. It's West Ham United taking on Chelsea. Chance to finish. Well, oh. Got in the way. oh, my God. Has he not scored that? <laughs> There's going to be a double substitution. <coughs> uh, let's take a short one. We take it short. Jared Bowen. 
Oh, not another injury. Oh. Bowen as well. That's a big blow. And it's with Young. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. I don't even want to risk him playing to try and run that off. I'm going to just get him straight off. Not showing good patience. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. Let's just get him straight off. Somerville jumps on. Or, um... I change formation up a bit. <sighs> no, I just do like for like. Well, they haven't overcome all the difficulties. Well, there you have it. West Ham have had so much of the possession, and as a result, have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch, and I don't think anything's going to change that. Moving into the advanced position, Lanzini. Well, going That's for it. power. That's right, at least he comes off. Worrying the goalkeeper in the slightest. And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. Sanson. Tyrone Mings. Look at Dinia. Look at Dinia. I would have liked to have had him at West Ham. Western Villa so, made that. So. Snapped him up quick. Well, if you make your move too early, you're always in danger of being. Prefer Cresswell, outside. but it's getting old now, Cresswell. And a quick reminder: we have FA Cup semi-final action for you here on EA TV. It's Aston Villa taking on Liverpool. Oh, Zard is mate. That should be played in a great atmosphere, and the cup final awaits the winners. His touch was awful when he was playing with me at the start of the season. And offside it is. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. And took off their star man, Coutinho. Sanson. Now Mitsu. Promising looking ball. Oh, nothing comes oh. at the attack when all is said and done. It's a stunning save by Alphonse Ariola. <laughs> Let's see about the delivery. Not away completely. And they survived the attack. Throw ins given. Well, I'm hearing there's been a goal at Selhurst Park, but who has scored it? Alex is going to tell us. So are winning headers now. Nice build up play, and when the space opened up, boy, did he take it well. It's now 2 1 with 72 minutes played. The game has been fascinating so far, Derek. Thank you, Alex. Pava. Lanzini. Can he put it away? Oh, well, great save. It was straight at him, though, but it's still a good save. Well, I still can't believe that didn't go in, Derek. It's a fantastic stop from the keeper, you have to say. Oh, that is a bad a ball. Pass. Well, no way through. A decisive clearance it was. Oh, a vital interception. Come on. Let's see, keep the ball up there, and I don't care. And that puts them in position. Targets available, cross comes in. It looked as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. Chambers. It's with Nakamba. Nakamba. Meets you. Options in the middle. Well read to ease the pressure. Get in there. Go, go, go. Run. It should be. Smash it. Go. That's the game wrapped up. Somerville done the job.
Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive, but there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of fun. Wow, I've still got subs. Um, bring on the captain. What, what did I do? I didn't... Oh, I've done free kick. What an idiot. Um... Oh, you can't make... Oh, no, I do. There we go. Now he's captain. Now if I bring Rice back on. Yeah, that's it. Yo, what's up, Mando? Oh. Did Belgium end up winning? Ace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. So making the substitution now. And it's been such a one-sided game. You just wonder how many more they could add. Substitution for West Ham United. Coming off the pitch. Number 10. Manuel Lanzini. Young. To be replaced by number 16. Mark Melville. And a good-looking ball. Uh, it wasn't quite as good as it looked when it was played. I know uh, England was playing as well. I think they're losing 1 0. Threat over for now, it seems. Well, totaling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. And that's an important intervention. Get in now. Yeah, that was a big six pointer at the top of the league. Oh, with three injuries as well. Or well, possibly four now. Bowen's out. Don't know how long four. Two, two, yeah. No more, I've never seen this guy before. All right, Watkins. No, I don't want Watkins. Where's that put us? Let's put us into fourth. Oh, Bowen weren't injured long term then. Chelsea as well. <laughs> Fuck it. I think I'm going to start with Bowen up front. Somerville. So many players fatigued as well. Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. It is Chelsea. They take on West Ham United and it's live. Hello and welcome to West London and we're talking today All about right, Derek, two teams who have up. fabulous traditions Chelsea and West Ham United Great to be with you from Stamford Bridge I'm Derek Ray, Stuart Robson is alongside me to provide expert analysis Stuart, how do you goal. see this go? And he's broken free Get in now I literally just see as soon as I see him in front I knew that was going to be a goal Well, here it is again. The through ball is Lovely through ball. Perfect. And when he gets on to That's it, how you take a quick free kick. Power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. 
So Chelsea restart the game. Can they come up with an answer? Werner. <sighs> Very quick thinking there. Oh, no, 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 no. Great save. Well, that was a great save. But the way they're playing at the moment, the equaliser can't be far away now. What do you mean the equaliser? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do is I'll finish this game and then we'll jump on Fortnite, yeah? I was going to go on earlier, but there wasn't no one on, so... And I hate playing solos. And he read that brilliantly at the back. Chilwell, losing possession. Yeah, I'll finish this game and I'll jump on. Oh, wow. But just wide. That was well wide, not just wide. As we look at the table, it's clear to see why there's been so much frustration amongst the home fans to say they've been so Norwich would have relegated. Might be an understatement. Well, it's been such a Norwich, disappointing season. Southampton. With the squad they had title, they've been far too inconsistent both in terms of effort and quality. Who else? Or Chelsea? Must be Chilwell. talking about Chelsea. On to Werner. Jorginho. Possession and patience, the watchwords. Well, didn't go to plan in the end. Would you prefer a player, man, though? The uh, non-building or building? Because I think you can Ross. still build on arena. Not the pass he had in mind. Ah, oh, no. It's what? What a shot. That's Save weren't the greatest, but you can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. Well, the referee has decided to book him. Well, it's not a good challenge, and quite rightly, he gets a yellow card for that. Vitali Mikolenko. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. Well, Chelsea did well to regain control of it. James. I can see these getting a goal soon. Attacking possibilities for Chelsea. Is that not offside? Marvellous piece of skill. Kovacic. Save, but still a chance. Offside, come on. Well, nothing untoward happened. Pavard. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Uh, no, I don't. I don't mind. To be fair, Silva. I think it might be better playing with non-building and get too many sweaty players in. I do like playing arena, but I think arena is going to reset the uh, points soon anyway. So there's no point playing arena until they reset the points. And breaking developments at Selhurst Park. Here's Alex Scott with the information. It's a goal for Leeds. It's now Come on. 27 uh, minutes play. Thanks as always, Alex. Where the hell was my midfield? An almost intuitive piece of finishing. I knew that he's going to score eventually. Um. I need a bit more in midfield because I've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. So back underway following the equalizer. Kral. What a shocking pass, really. Uh, West Ham. That's why I'm doing a career mode with them. It's uh, my local team. I used to live uh, 10 minutes from their old ground before I moved. James. Well, possibilities in the centre. 
No, 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 no. It's got to be marvelous anticipation. Well, they haven't created too much lately. That's why I'm called Hams. I used to be called short. Hammers, which is a uh, West Ham's like Using his physical name. What they're known as, the Hammers or the Irons. Oh. Well, we really have to call that a squandered opportunity, Stuart. Well, what a waste that is. It's far too easy for the keeper. But Should then I shortened that, the hammers, so just to the hams, because it was just too long. Wonderfully weighted pass. Goal. No! The challenge, crisp and clean. Fair now. Here's Chilwell. Jorginho. Timo Werner. Chilwell. And moving the ball nicely. Oh, seriously. Oh, a lovely ball. And he could catch Goal. it. Fuck's sake, man. All over me at the moment. Declan Rice. And failure to keep the ball by West Ham. Mount. And now with Kovacic. Oh, great attacking play. I'm just riding and my Kovacic. challenges. Kovacic. Oh, a save right out of the top drawer. Superstop. Who can they pick out? And a goalkeeper. <sighs> and he's just Fuck it, hell, man. Absolutely stunning save there. That is brilliant. Let's see about the delivery. Not Blow the whistle. Blow the fucking whistle. And the first 45. Oh, fucking hell, man. I know I just brought on Kroll, but he's not doing fuck all. Um, basically play the same formation, but instead of wingers, get them playing a bit further back. As cams. So the beginning of the second half here at Stamford Bridge. Because my midfield is fucking awful at the moment. Pavar. Now Alex Kral. Declan Rice. How many guys have got behind the ball? Mikolenko. It's neat passing, confidence on the ball. And he did so well to move across and deal with the danger. Come on, Suchek. We need you here. Well, really, it has oh. to be further away from the keeper. <laughs> that was a soul. The well, he's certainly been warned, no Stuart. good at free kicks no in this game. Like that. Well, he's in no doubt now. He can't foul again. And disappointingly, straight into the wall. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, he stepped forward for his team with the equaliser. It could prove to be the key turning point in this contest. I swear to God, if they score, I'm going to rage. You do feel they need to find another gear in the second half, though, if they are to go on and win it. Still passing it around with authority. Kovacic. And he did well to cut it out. 
Fucking Reese James at right back thinking he's Ronaldinho or some shit. That's a well timed pass. No. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. Great effort to keep that one in play. Mount. And Kovacic. What the fuck was that? Jared Bowen, promising looking attack from West Ham. Someone driving a 21 plate. Oh. It comes to absolutely nothing. Vitaly Mikolenko. No, that ain't offside. Be offside. How was that off? Why are you offside, Ben Rama? Seriously, why are you offside? Mendy You know what, I would be happy with a draw at the moment at this point in time Assuming he scored on goal Get it out. What is a keeper? What was the keeper doing? I swear on my life, I never press triangle. What the fuck was that all about? Nice. Oh, mate, that's pissed me off. Big time. It's still time, though. It looks promising. In possession, Bowen. Well, he's lost the ball. Just parking the bus when I've got the ball. Twenty minutes remaining now. Kai Havertz. Well, visionary passing. Oh, but cutting it out in the nick of time. Well, just to point you in the right direction, we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here. Where's the overlap? TV. It's Chelsea facing Everton. Well, Derek, I'm really looking forward to it. Always a great atmosphere in that stadium, and it. Ah, oh, I've got to swap to the four-three-three again. I need more. Need more up front, man. Should be an entertaining match. Take his legs. And a poor ball. And Chelsea looking dangerous. Oh, it's game over. <laughs> Who was that? He got in front of fucking... Got in front of Zuma. Game set match, man. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. Lukaku. And Mount. An alert piece of defending. Kai Havertz. Just a reminder, we have more absorbing action from the Premier League coming your way here on EA TV. Oh, Derek, can he finish it here? Nah. Oh, good work nah. By the They're not scoring again. Fuck it, bring Noble on. What's the worst that's going to happen? Personnel change at this juncture. Over it comes. A decisive clearance it was. A oh, dirty bastards. And the referee has got to book him, I think. Come on, let's get at least a goal back. To mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. Bryce, what did you do there? Chilwell. 
Rhys James. Now with Havertz. Moving the ball effectively, looking for the right moment. Havertz, real chance. What Fucking a Not an attempt joke, to mate. Long in the memory. Well, what a waste that is. It's far too easy for the keeper. Successfully Fuck out. off, Kante, mate. How are you stopping that through ball? And Golo Conte. And he might be through here. And it's come off the keeper. Well, able to survive that attacking. Just goal. stopping every pass. And Kai Havertz. Not out of the yet. <laughs> <laughs> it goes. Offside. <laughs> How many more saves is this keeper going to make this game? He's making that clear to the linesman now. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. And they kick the ball. Advantage Chelsea. Lukaku. There's the goal. Surely now. 4-1. The whistle for full time. Game over. Oh. But my players are fucking dead. I need some more squad depth, big time. Fucking hell, look at the left back and the right back. Jesus. Three injuries. Not good. Save and jump on Fortnite.